Oh, hello. I'm Harry, and I'm a loser. Growing up, I was one of those weird kids who would play by the dumpsters at recess and ride the school bus by myself. But now, I live in Brooklyn, I have a real job at a real magazine, I have a bank account, and a bunch of shirts, so I figure I could go back, revisit some of my failures, and with a little bit of luck, turn them into successes. This is All Around Losing, Harry G. You know how every youth soccer team has that one weird kid who just kind of stands off by himself and lets a ball go right past him? My whole team was those guys. There were a couple guys named Carl Prithvi, Prithvi Shankar. We could have won a math championship with all the brains we had on my team, but, you know, running around, not so much. And I was part of the problem. In six years playing, I scored exactly one goal, got hit in the nuts with the soccer ball more times than I can count. Sometimes it hit me in the face. I feel kind of responsible for a lot of the bad seasons we had, including the last one where we didn't win a single game. Um, now I've got a little bit more self-confidence, better foot-eye coordination, so maybe there's a chance I'll actually be an alright soccer player. But in order to not embarrass myself, I'm going to need some coaching from an Austrian named Gerhard. Hey Gerhard. Hey, so, how are you? Uh, I'm good. So the deal is I'm trying to get back into soccer. Right. Uh, I haven't played in like seven years. All I want to do is impress people. Yeah, I don't exactly. Really, I don't really so care about yeah. it. Yeah. Because otherwise it will take like ten years. How long we got? A week? Um, like, like a day. <laughs> I think you did good. Yeah. You got the juggling. Uh, kind you know, of juggling. Goalkeeping. Good. Good penalties. Maybe a few push-ups and um, you know right, tonight yeah. before the game. Okay. And you're ready. I'm feeling pretty nervous about this. Um, I sat on my glasses this morning when I woke up. Uh, my arm hurts for no reason. It's pretty cold. Um, Practice with Gerhardt went okay, but uh, you know, actually playing a game is a lot different than just you know, like kicking a ball around. So these guys are probably going to be a lot better than me, and I'll try not to embarrass myself. But you know, I always do. First person I met was Min. Hey, Min. Sort of an unofficial coach or referee, or at least the guy who brings the jerseys. The other guys are really friendly. I'm. I'm. Uh, those are special soccer. Those, they, they seem supportive of my weird little mission. Wherever I can do the least damage, so defense. defense, yeah. And then all of a sudden I was playing soccer. I got no idea what I'm doing uh, here. I just was trying to follow my man around a little bit. Couldn't do that. Oh, that was probably my fault. You know, sometimes I saw where I was supposed to be way too late. Oh shit! Sometimes I'd get the ball purely by chance, you know, just deflect off of someone's foot, and I had to kick it, and that was just, just totally impossible. Oh shit! Ooh. Not very well. Well, Winda. Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What's up? It's tough to run around. I haven't run around like that in a long time. No one was making fun of me for being really bad. Although I could tell they didn't want to pass it to me, you know. All right. Let's get traded. I don't really know how this works, but I'm too intimidated to ask questions. Actually. The hard part was running for half an hour or 45 minutes or two days or whatever it was because, you know, I'm in really, really bad shape, I realized. Whew. Well, I gotta sit down, actually. I was feeling pretty bad. I just met all these people, and my rule is, like, don't throw up in front of people you have just met, ever. And then that guy started talking to me, but I was also trying really hard not to throw up at that point. How long have you been playing? Years. Really? And then your body's like, nope, this is, this is coming up. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. I was trying not to puke on anyone's bag. 
I succeeded in that at least. Oh. I know how to puke probably better than I know how to play soccer. That's a good thing. What? Once the order's out, you're gonna play better. Oh shit. And then I puked again. Oh. Jesus. I like that you almost made a friend but then you puked instead. So. That's how my life usually goes. Uh, I gave the guys some orange slices and I hope that kind of patched things up. You know, I was like, here, I'm, not only did I puke, but I brought you some vitamin C. And nothing like a good orange slice, right? And I kept playing at least, you know, I didn't, I'm glad I didn't bitch out. And I did try to bitch out. You only play what, 30 minutes? Uh, I'm really out of shape. You can have one more game in you. Yeah, all right, one more. Even though I was bad and I had just thrown up, I mean, it was like, come on, get in there and play. And that was, that was nice. During the last play of that game, no one was paying attention to me, um, probably for good reason. I got the ball and I was looking at the goal and I kicked the ball pretty hard. Ah, fuck. Sorry. It went right to the goalie, but it was a shot on goal. You're behind that, just nail it in. I probably would have thrown up again if I had made that goal. Yeah. I think this, this situation was about a 70% uh, failure, mostly because of the puking. Um, honestly, you don't, you don't feel good when you puke in front of other people. I mean, I lost this one, I just like I lost the ones when I was a kid. Same feeling. Keep looking, keep looking for redemption, and I guess that's what I'm gonna do. It wasn't that bad out there, though. Maybe I could, if like I, I practiced, get a little better at soccer, I think. Yeah, but I'm not sure I will because, you know, honestly, I remember like all those times, like my favorite part of the soccer game is when it's over and you just, you know, you're in the car and you get to go home and take your shin guards off. And um, that's what I enjoyed most about it, was stopping it. Is that good? No, keep going. <laughs>